Hello friends, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we are going to share some of the tips and tricks you can try out on the Lenovo K6 Power. So Lenovo K6 Power comes with a YBUI and on top of Android 6.0 Marshmallow. So similar to other Lenovo devices, there are quite a lot of uh, features uh, being added or offered on this device uh, where you can do some basic customization, some added features and gestures are also supported. So we'll talk about all those things and how to customize the device uh, to your liking. So let's start off the tips and tricks with the notification center. So if you just scroll down the notification center, so we have these quick toggles arranged uh, in two rows. Uh, right now we have five plus five, ten rows are available. So if you want to change this, just click the uh, four dots here and uh, here we have this option to rearrange them and you can see there are some additional uh, toggles available so you can just drag and uh, rearrange these toggles to, to whichever you li like and then you can also have uh, different column settings say for example three columns are there four columns and five columns so basically you can uh, uh, arrange in three uh, three columns uh, that means uh, the number of toggles will be reduced you can have four columns again uh, that will be lower than uh, the five column layout what we have right now so that's the option then uh, once you're done you can just save it and uh, that uh, option will be available next time you use the quick uh, toggles so that's a pretty useful option then uh, now press and hold the home button and you can see the option to customize the wallpaper and widgets so widgets and wallpapers are self-explanatory we're not going into details of that now the, there is another option called preferences so select this preference and you can see you can set the default android launcher either it can be ybui or the stock like android what we're having right now so ybui does not have a home i mean app drawer instead it has multiple home screens now it, we have an app drawer that's an android uh, uh, stock android like uh, ui so basically if you want uh, an uh, ui without the app drawer you can select this uh, uh, default launcher as the ybui Next up, we have this home screen settings. So select this, you can set the transition uh, animation and also enable wallpaper scrolling. So these two options are uh, available here. Then there is the drawer settings, that the app drawer settings. So you can select the uh, layout, it can be page, that means sideways. It can also be vertical, so just click here. And if you go back, you can see instead of uh, sideways, you can just scroll down and see all the app list. So that's another useful option if you want to have some customization. Then uh, there is also sorting mode uh, based on title, launch count or the install time. So the apps can be sorted based on the title that's alphabetical order. You can uh, select the uh, number of times you have launched that app and also the install time. So there is also option to customize the drawer background. You can have some opaque backgrounds or some translucent background. So if you just select this, uh, now if you go back and you can uh, see uh, that will be loaded, you can see it's a green background, it's a translucent background. So that option is also there. You can also customize uh, the background uh, settings for the app drawer. Then there is also backup recovery. You can uh, select the uh, uh, backup of the app drawer and uh, I mean the launcher settings and uh, you can recover anytime. If you, if you reset the phone, you can just recover those uh, uh, backups uh, of the app drawer. So these are some of the options here. Then you also have theme center uh, where you have this option to uh, add some themes. So some uh, few themes are included. So not too many are there, but uh, some seven themes are included. You cannot download additional themes, but uh, some options are included. Say for example, for calls, there is also option to select the multitasking option if you want the Android style or the Lenovo style. So these are some options for customization. Now let's go to the settings. So in the settings, uh, if you come to display, uh, we have an option called color mode. So color mode uh, basically allows you to customize the color settings. So if you want the normal display, uh, uh, display realistic color or vibrant display that you can select it from here. So if you allow a bit of colors, then a vibrant display will be the better option. So that's the options in display. Then uh, here is, there is an option called feature. So this option allows uh, additional gestures. So you can see there is quick snap, double press on any of the volume keys while the screen is off to snap a picture so uh, this is turned on you can see just press the volume keys when the screen is turned off it will capture a picture uh, pretty quickly so we'll just uh, try that uh, option so there you go we are just uh, taking a capture quickly so that's the option uh, for taking quick uh, captures then uh, next uh, we have knock to light so double tap to wake up that's uh, that's the option 
uh, the, uh, that's an octolite option that we already seen then there is white touch white touch what it does is it will uh, show you a floating button so you can see you can just move this floating button and uh, 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 once uh, you can again get a hold of uh, some additional controls here you can see there are some additional options available in the floating button so you can uh, enable floating button from here then dual app uh, profile so this we already talked about uh, there is also a video separately made for dual apps so here in this option you can run uh, multiple instances uh, or rather two instances of the same app uh, on your device so if you have two whatsapp account or two uh, facebook accounts so you can uh, run both these accounts at the same time on this device using the dual apps profile then uh, there is also via mode uh, and a fingerprint snap so fingerprint reader can act as a shutter button to snap a picture so once you are turned on this if you just tap here it will take a capture and uh, that's quite handy to quickly capture photos then press a uh, power button twice for camera so that's an uh, again an uh, option uh, there is quick flashlight uh, long press the home key on the lock screen to turn on the flash quickly so we'll just uh, show you that as well so in the lock screen just uh, tap, press and hold uh, and you can see uh, it will open the flash so now flash is turned on so um, so that's the another useful option then there is decreased tone volume so some uh, uh, useful features are included here uh, in um, uh, the feature now if you go to usb and uh, I mean storage we have this uh, trash cleaner so if you are running uh, uh, with uh, low storage uh, you can uh, just uh, clean the uh, trash here and um, you can uh, have again see a different trash available here um, you can see uh, company uh, cache or junk cache installed packs uninstalled residue and large files so this this helps you to clean up the uh, trash and uh, you can uh, uh, get um, uh, some um, more storage space if you're running out of low storage then there is also secure mode uh, secure zone management so we have talked about uh, the secure zone management previously so that's basically uh, creating a second space on this device and um, so this secure zone helps in creating two different spaces one say for example one for your office one for your home so th uh, so that uh, your home apps and work apps does not uh, uh, mix up so that's uh, the purpose of secure zone so secure zone allows you to create another zone and um, uh, um, uh, install apps there as well so we already talked about those uh, secure zone in most of the Lenovo smartphones so we are not going into details of that so these are some of the useful options in the Lenovo K uh, K6 Power, which runs on uh, the Vibe UI along with uh, Android 6.0 Marshmallow. So hope you like this video. Uh, if you have this K6 Power, you can just try out these uh, features and get the better out of your device. So that's all guys. Thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.